Because all of them ain't problem child. Some of them just going in the store. You know what I'm saying? Some of them just walking. Some of them talking. Some of them just living and dying for being the men that they are. So understand, sir, you are putting yourself in harm's way to be this problem child that you want to be. But you also putting your son in danger too with him being with you. For us to see. So at this point, he's our nephew too. Slash our stepson too. <laughs> you know that? We want him to be safe too. I would never call CPS and all that. That's I'm, I'm not doing that. I wouldn't dare. You know what I'm saying? So y'all don't put that on me. I never do no shit like that. I understand why she wanted you to come to Atlanta. And I'm going to end this video with this. Come to Atlanta, King. So you can see your son. So you can see your prince. He miss you. You know that, right? What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nikki the host of Ty. I just worked out. I feel great. But let me get to this. It's Juneteenth. You know what I'm saying? And I need to, uh, I got shit to do. So first of all, I want to make this very clear. This is not to shame, Chris. Um, I want y'all to know that I went through a very traumatic situation uh, when my business was on the internet. And granted, it was my fault. I put my business on the internet. <laughs> so people made reaction videos, you know, said things about me. Uh, I didn't take the heart. I didn't copyright and strike anybody's videos. I don't, I don't care. At the end of the day, when you put your business out on a, on a, uh, on a platform, you want attention. So that's what you're going to get. Um, so right now, Chris wants attention. He's going to get it. And the reason why I'm saying he wants attention is because, you know, he basically put out this narrative to everybody that Queen, you know, was taking Chris, baby CJ, away from Chris. And for all of y'all that have been following uh, Chris and Queen like I have, Chris always, Queen, I'm talking fast because I just got done working out. My adrenaline is fine. <laughs> Queen always said that she'll never take baby CJ away from Chris, and I think she meant it. Um, but she didn't, she never said she wasn't gonna apply her rules if he keep acting like a problem child. Now, for those who don't know, the last time baby CJ was with Chris, Chris went to jail. Chris went to jail. Queen seen it on Shade Room, I believe. If I'm wrong, I apologize, but Queen seen it somehow and had to call and see where her child was because she did not know. Um, which is probably one of the most scary things a parent would ever have to go through aside from what we're going through right now, which is, uh, you know, police brutality, um, fatal police, police brutality. They're doing it to children. They're doing it to our black men. They're doing it to our people. You know what I'm saying? And right now it's a very, very scary time to get a phone call or see your baby daddy on the shade room and your child ain't with him. So when he said that, I instantly knew like, nah, when I went to New York, you know, I even said to Queen, I was like, bro, uh, you're not gonna ever take him away because he do a lot of dumb shit. She said, me and him vowed to each other, we'll never take we'll never take baby CJ away. So after I reacted to Messy Monday, y'all know Zoe, he, he just put shit out there, he just put it out there. <laughs> he said, we well, gotta say, keep it moving. Those weren't all the facts. Later, Queen exposed Chris and she came with her receipts. Now, Chris put out the narrative that Queen was taking baby CJ away from Chris. And he came to the internet with it. Therefore, that's why we all are talking about it. So he said, um, he said that the queen came out saying proof I'm not evil or, or taking his son. I told him he can come see him. I'm not gonna read all these. They're gonna be on the screen for y'all to see. So basically, queen like I never said that. This is what I said though. So I believe that of course, Chris is used to the naive queen. It's no more naive queen. Queen is a grown woman now. You know what I'm saying? You had her when she was a girl, right? She went through a lot of things in life, a lot of trauma on the internet via with you. And she's become a woman now. All them emotions and them feelings and them all them, all that naive shit is gone. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it has gone away. So you can't play her, right? And you damn sure not about to put her child in harm's way. If if CJ was my child, it's no way. No. Not that I would not let him see him, because I think that is a stretch. However, you will do it on my terms. So Queen said, bring your ass to Atlanta. She's not wrong for that. I said the exact same thing on the reaction video without seeing her, without seeing these receipts. I said, you know, either I, she's not wrong for taking him away, or I would tell him to come to my state. You can get out here, you can have your own property out here, you can get an apartment, whatever you need to do. 
But my child need to be in the same state. You wanna know why? Because when he's in this state, I can go get him if you go to jail. And, and, and what's messed up is, Chris is just a problem child, he seems to go to jail. And I honestly think if Chris was rocking by himself, he wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? But it, 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 Chris, Chris has the biggest name out of all his friends. So you're gonna go to jail. But not only that, you know Chris has done some things in the past that uh, has caused him to have a bad rep with the police. You know what I'm saying? And, and I wish he stopped because God forbid we see, you know, RIP Chris Sales on the internet. Nobody wants to see that, Chris. And you know, as bad as Chris think everybody hate him, I don't even think it's a fully hate thing. I think people just tired of you being a problem child. It's like, grow up. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, 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 this isn't to, to bash anybody because I, I have had my, my trauma with the internet and, and narratives created that wasn't what it was. So, I'm done creating narratives. I'm done playing with people's lives. You know what I'm saying? So, I know how that feels and I had to feel it in order for me to correct the way I word things. So, Chris, you know, you probably never see this. I don't know, I really don't care. But if you do, baby, it's about time you stop being a problem child. And this is coming from the bottom of my heart because honestly, I don't want any any more of our kings to die, bro. And, and I may be dragging it, but am I? You wanna be a problem child so bad, I guess when you get around people you get a little attention, but that little attention is gonna lead you to some serious, serious danger. And the issue is, your child is with you. So you lucky she not taking him away. And the fact that you're trying to create a narrative that she is, is so messed up. <laughs> and you keep doing things to her that keeps making you look bad. And for some reason, you still want to be the bully. You still want to be the big bad wolf, and you can't. You know, you got all sad when Clarence got the laughing at your tweet. But he's laughing because he's like, bro, stop. Stop. I know Clarence is like, stop. Man, he, he, he takes that and laugh. You know, and a lot of people took that to heart like, oh my God, why would he do that? Because it's funny. Bro, you got to stop, man. You got to stop, bro. Like. You know, Chris, I just, I'm praying for you, man. <laughs> like, for real, and I'm not even being funny. I had to go through my stuff, get it, you know, um, go through my situation on the internet, and I learned something from it. I don't like that feeling no more. I don't, I don't like that feeling. That's not a good feeling to me. You know, to get on the internet and people, you know, laughing at the stupid shit that you did. You know what I'm saying? It's not a good feeling. So it's like, for you to keep going through it, do you want to go through it? Is this what you want? Do you want to keep creating this bad picture of queen that is not going to be painted? Because every time you paint a picture, she paints over it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, stop. Please, man, stop, bro. You got to stop. This woman and you, all these deadbeat dads and, 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 and women don't appreciate when you got a good dad. Like for real, she has a good man at home that is taking care of your son too. And you know, hopefully people don't take that as shade because I grew up in a home where my mom wasn't there for me so my other mama stepped up. He got a parent there, he has a male figure there to make sure he is safe. That is also his job. So you trying to create this narrative of her taking you out on child support, or not taking you out on child support, which she still hasn't done, but um, taking him away, that ain't it. That ain't it. And I want you to understand that it's 2020, your text messages can still be screenshot. Just like your lives can still be recorded. Remember, I went through that. I wanna keep throwing myself in there because I want you to understand that you ain't the only one, but you keep being the one. You know, you just, you just keep being that one. And it's just like, stop. Now he also made a video saying this. I'm gonna just play the sound. For all y'all who baby daddy not in your kids life, stay out of this. Y'all got your own battle to go fight. All right? Everybody don't have kids. Everybody ain't dealing with a baby daddy that ain't. But I promise you, all them girls you talking about, 
it probably would have put your ass on child support by now and took that baby away from you. You lucky to have this sweet-hearted baby mama of yours. That's a good woman. You don't listen to nobody anyway. So you ain't gotta listen to me. Hey, what I know, I ain't got no kids. Probably gonna say the same. Tell this dyke to quit talking. Uh, uh, you stay out of this. Well, you put us in it. And, um, you gotta stop, bro. I really, really wish you the best in life. Like, I swear I do. I'm so tired of our kings, I mean, our black men being killed, uh, uh, you know, going through police brutality for being, uh, for any reason. Because all of them ain't problem child. Some of them just going in the store. You know what I'm saying? Some of them just walking. Some of them talking. Some of them just living and dying for being the men that they are. So understand, sir, you are putting yourself in harm's way to be this problem child that you want to be, but you also putting your son in danger too with him being with you. And don't nobody, and I mean nobody, not even us, because understand that you have raised them king um, on the internet for us to see. So at this point, he's our nephew too, slash, our stepson too, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We want him to be safe too. I would never call CPS and all that. That's, I'm, I'm not doing that, I wouldn't dare. You know what I'm saying? So y'all don't put that on me. I never do no shit like that. That's why I don't even know what uh, Chris say and all that, that. I'm just saying, man. I understand why she wanted you to come to Atlanta. And I'm gonna end this video with this. Come to Atlanta, King, so you can see your son. So you can see your prince. He miss you. You know that, right? So this little pride that you wanna show on the internet ain't hurting nobody but your son. And then you gonna post a picture talking about if I don't have my son, that uh, I don't have a reason to live. You can't continue to play that game. You're not gonna win it. And God forbid, nobody wants you to do that. Nobody wants you to hurt yourself because I know what the hell that feel like too. But understand that you doing this. Your son is in Atlanta. Your, the, the mother of your child is allowing you to come see him. Just go see him. It's that simple. I'm done with this. I'm going to start my Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Do not celebrate 4th of July, period. Um, I love y'all. Black brother, king, handsome young man, Chris Sales. Go see your son. <laughs>